of the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for May 2024. So on May 20th, we are going to watch the sun leave Taurus energy and enter into Gemini energy. So first of all, we have to understand that Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she ruled over Taurus season. So she's essentially being dethroned. However, she does still hold a little bit of power because she herself is in Taurus energy in her rulership. So we're passing the baton, if you will, and we're giving up the throne to Mercury. Mercury is the ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. And Mercury is currently in Taurus energy, grounding us out, giving us an anchor point, connecting our mental plane, our perspective, our perception of the world around us to the physical body so that we can listen to the five senses and how it is that we are basically responding to not only physical situations and circumstances, but to the new ideas, the new visions, the new goals, the new dreams that we have essentially seen the very, very small initiation of the seed was planted, so to speak. Now in Gemini season, we're going to have to explore. We're going to have to research. We're going to have to go out and gather as much information, as many details as possible about how it is that we are going to bring some of these goals, these visions, these dreams to life. So the Taurus season kind of anchored us into the physical form so that we could figure out what is working, what is not working, what and who needs to stay, needs to go. Now the Gemini energy is going to challenge our perspective, challenge our thoughts, challenge our opinions, challenge our ideas. So the Gemini energy is a mutable sign. Mutable seasons means that things are changing. Mutable energy follows fixed energy. Again, Taurus season was a fixed sign where we stabilized, where we kind of got grounded, got anchored, found a brand new footing. And because we found that particular anchor point now in a mutable sign, we get to explore and expand on those particular concepts. And so Gemini season is represented by the twins, meaning that there is one foot in the ego realm, one foot in the higher self, one foot in the old self, one foot in the new self. There is dualistic and polarized energies working, let's call them against each other, but also with each other in order for us to find a new middle point in our understanding, in our perspective, in our thoughts, in our ideas, in our opinions. Opinions. So, of course, the sun is life force energy. This is going to trigger a whole lot of pressure in the mental plane. This is going to put us in a situation where, again, the intellectual part of our mental plane is going to be working overtime, processing a lot of the aha moments and epiphanies that just came at us here at the tail end of Taurus season. The Gemini energy is going to put us in a situation to have the sun focusing on new thoughts, new ideas and therefore how it is that we are now going to communicate the, this new inner realm revelation to the outside world. Now, because Mercury's in his rulership over Gemini season, it means that our headspace is definitely going to be the main focus. Again, if you need to listen to the Ascension forecast specifically for this week, you're going to understand how the energy is going to shift, how that is going to impact our mental plane, the pressure in our heads moving forward. But Mercury also rules over communication, and we're all going to be a little bit more social, a little bit more more extroverted, if you will. We're all going to tap into our chatty Kathy part of our personality. And we are going to basically go out in the world because there's a new level of curiosity showing us that we have to kind of abandon the comfort zone that we found ourselves kind of stuck in in Taurus energy to just kind of explore different options, different opportunities that may be awaiting us out in the world. Here's the thing. We have a lot of pressure in our heads. There's a rapid, rapid processing to new information, to new aha moments. 
but we can also be pretty flighty, pretty, let's call it scatterbrained with our energies because again, we're jumping all over the place. We have a new level of curiosity. We have a new level of, I'm going to say topics and themes that we want to dabble in. We want to be looking for stimulation outside of ourselves and especially where communication is concerned. Some of the greatest light bulb moments that we could experience happen when we least expect it, when we're engaged with other people kind of throwing thoughts and ideas and conversation back and forth and then something just pops off and that puts us on a brand new path to explore, to research new information, new ideas. So this is definitely going to pick up the speed. Again, Gemini season always kind of presses that fast forward button because again, reminder, Gemini season comes before cancer season. Cancer season is the summer solstice. That solstice energy kind of locks in a new karmic chapter. So this is why we're being kind of pushed into a season where time accelerates, where our minds expand to different topics and themes, and where curiosity kind of brings us out of our shell, brings us out of our comfort zone. So we have some decisions to make. We have some choices to make. We have some new paths to explore, and we're going to do all that in a very short amount of time so that we are going to be a little bit more sure, a little bit more decisive, a little bit more aligned with the path that we are going to be kind of locking in under that solstice energy. So we are in a time of big information. We got a lot of positive aspects popping off in Gemini season, which we are going to dive into one by one. And this is really going to not only expand our minds, but challenge our thoughts, our ideas, our old opinions, and put us in a situation where we can see both sides of the coin, when we can create a little bit of an argument for each side, each option, each choice, each decision. The downside to this particular energy is, first of all, we're too stuck in the mental plane. We're too intellectual, which means that we're a little bit rigid in when it comes to our emotions and comes to our affections. This also puts us in a situation where the chatty Cathy's kind of take it to the next level and gossip becomes, you know, the information, the focus of the whole season. We want to kind of resist that if we could. And Typically speaking, we're a little bit too rational. Again, the, the Gemini energy is still, you know, kind of the ego building sector of the Zodiac Wheel, meaning um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer energy is building the ego identity. The Gemini energy is where we expand on the mental plane, where we expand on thoughts, opinions, and ideas, and we challenge the old version of self's way of looking at life. And so when we're too rational, when we're too connected to the physical realm, when we're too dependent on the physical realm kind of suggesting what is possible for us, we kind of get closed off to the magic. We get closed off to the ability to manifest because again, logically and practically, a lot of those concepts just don't have enough meat and potatoes to anchor it into the intellect. So, of course, we're going to be in a situation where we're rapidly processing, processing a lot of information or we're challenging our own damn selves to really kind of open our minds up to different aspects and avenues from the old version of self. And overall, we're just going to be stuck in our head space, which, of course, disconnects us from the heart space, which, of course, puts us in a situation where we can't take action and we can't make moves because we need the heart, the head to be in alignment to actually do so. So this is going to be a little bit of a cha-cha-cha back and forth again from one very extreme point of view to the other in order for us to find a new sweet spot. This is definitely where the the aha moments, the epiphanies are going to start making a whole lot more sense than they did throughout Taurus season. And we're going to be challenged in many different ways to just kind of, I'm going to say, open up our headspace and our heart space to different options and opportunities. So there is going to be a buzz. There is this kind of like dazed and confused disposition that we enter into when we first dip into this Gemini energy. But again, with all of the energetic events that are kind of following Gemini season here, we are going to see a major increase in intensity, not only in our curiosity, not only in our ability to process some very complex thoughts and ideas, but we are also going to be challenged, if you will, to pivot. 
to explore a different path, a different direction, once we've gathered the information and details needed to make an informed decision.